Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control, the Foundation. We have, I think, just the one more ritual to go back at Research Site Gamma. First up, though, I think Emily's got just a handful of updates for us that we're gonna want to hear. The nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. <laughs> Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Bergen Peak AWE. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Aw, oh, she's just thirsty for science. <laughs> Still laughing over the... Huh. Sometimes it's not even about writing a punchline. Sometimes it's just letting a, a, letting a good voice actor do what they do with a very understated line. <laughs> uh, so I believe the easiest way for us to reach research site Gamma uh, is to actually backtrack through the crossroads. Get that little preview of a shortcut there that we saw on the other way uh, going towards where base camp now is. So you can pretty safely assume that we're going to be opening that shortcut up not too long from now. Uh, just to connect these two areas a little bit better. Especially since we've already been given a task of backtracking a little bit. Uh, this, unless I can break through this, this isn't quite it. So we're just going to keep going along the path. I think it's just further in, further to the left. Still pretty well oriented. These pickaxe dudes, yes they are. Yeah, nice preview of the first view. I really wish the death from above did not consume the entire bar. I love it. And upgraded, it does get pretty potent. But damn, you would think that it would be just a single percentage of the bar, like everything else. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't even realize he had survived until he started attacking me. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. 
On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director of Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son. The supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. You know, that is a property of the oldest house. That it, mm, that it can't be noticed unless you're looking for it. That I find fascinating. Marshall blew up the nail. What the hell was she thinking? It's something we've known more or less since the game started, and that just pokes at that a little bit more. Also, I talked over a little bit since I know I'm going to open this up anyway. Uh, I think it's out of options? Should be. It's the new one. The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move, but it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was, how it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people, the advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. So she just goes... Also, I'm backtracking because I'm not sure if I missed something back here. I don't think so, but I want to double check. No. She goes full Gertrude Robinson with it. I love that. And she seems to be one of the very few people here to recognize the core problem. The most deeply rooted problem here. Which you can read as a pretty basic uh, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely allegory. But given the power in question that is doing the corrupting, the board, how it's coded, how it's symbolized, having its finger in every pie, and always making sure that its interests are served and that those beneath it are always serving its interests. Um, mmm, mmm, like how it corrupts the head cop, and how Trench couldn't see that he was being corrupted. And Marshall's solution is to blow that whole problem up, so that it's not a problem anymore, because she doesn't think it can be reformed. Wonder what that's about. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? If you're just joining us, it could mean nothing at all. There's nothing else that's been in this game or this DLC that could possibly inform any kind of critical reading we could do about that. <laughs> ah, it's just a power corrupts thing. There's, there's nothing deeper to that. The metaphor is not super on the nose. Ah, oh, it's good. I like this game. Ooh, this brain spike fight. 
gets a little bit tricky, especially since there is such an abundance of sneepers. Sneepers which are kind of seldom fought throughout the main game. And if you're doing one of those uh, one of those board countermeasures where you have to eliminate a certain number of snipers, that's a real pain in the ass. Speaking of, is there still someone left? No, the red barrier has disappeared. I thought there was another enemy still lurking around. Cool! Oh, you know what? There's this interview with uh, Control's uh, Petri Alonka. He talks about how the Hiss have this like supernatural presence that's almost like gravity. And he goes into the physical process of how their gravity distorts sound around them. And I may have brought this up before, but I feel like I'd remember this, because then in the interview he's just like, So anyway, I had to burn the piano. He destroyed a, a ton of objects and appliances and instruments. I need a ranger sent to this location, stat. Just to record what their demolition would sound like. Uh, and one of them was a piano. And that's part of the hisses of that sound. That approach sound. Uh, and it's it's sheerly down to like the texture of the noise that that's specific to how the strings of the piano work as they heat up. By the way, as a photographer, can I just say I love how versatile burning metal is? <laughs> Musicians and foley artists can use it. Uh, and if you shoot long exposures of burning steel wool, you can get some really cool results. Just look it up on Pinterest or Instagram or Google and search or whatever. Uh, steel wool photography or steel wool burning photography. Oh, he might just be- yeah. I mean, this is a foregone conclusion anyway. This fight. Uh, we got our little Healy Orb. So, oh, the Healy Orb's almost dead, but the Ranger is never going down, nor am I, so long as that's alive. <laughs> this fight's gonna be long over. Yeah, that story is has real vibes of uh, Inside's composer using a skull to make ambient music for the game. Which is funny, because I, I believe uh, that man is Martin Stig Anderson, if I remember right. Yeah. Uh, also worked on Control Soundtrack with Alonko. Those are always my favorite kinds of stories to share, by the way. I love coming across them, too. Um, I always share as much background information and trivia and development insight as I can. Okay, good. We're going the right way. Um, because I get excited by it. I, I love learning how the sausage is made, and because it leads to so many interesting stories like that. Um, it's so much better than an interview where someone is just like, "This is the last one." Oh, so what's the gameplay of your video game like? And then they're like, "Okay, the mechanics are this, this, and this. You can do this." Brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. And she thought I wasn't ready. <laughs> I went to drink some water <laughs> and watch it off the edge. Yeah, I think that's the more, that's, that's way more compelling stuff when you dig down into what makes the thing unique, what sets it apart, how was it made, what were some of the things that the, the, the developers tried and how different did it look when you were, when, when they were first trying things out. I think those questions naturally lead to really interesting things. Oh, 
Oh, some of the other sounds you'll hear in the game, by the way. Electromagnetic radiation, which was picked up. But that's the last one. I fixed it, didn't I? Nail, leave, end. From the former. Ah, uh, yeah, electromagnetic radiation, which is picked up through a series of special microphones and then spit back out as something actually perceptible to the human ear. I really dig these kind of ribcage shapes that the crystals start forming into. Should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way. Right now, both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. 
The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. Really feels like she's bumping up against the limits of what she is capable of doing as just one person. I, I know what I'm doing. That was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? Entry day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. Can a place know the future? Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. Oh, I think that's such a fascinating exploration of what the oldest house might be. And in turn, it makes... Crazy here. It's uh, almost like they're trying to stop me. It completes Ash's arc in a really satisfying way, I think. It makes the oldest house and the foundation all the more eerie and yeah, weird. HRA was damaged. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden. Here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Mmm. The board attacked Marshall, and they're really insidious because they make themselves part of every important process, and they have way too much control over things. And they're called the board. And now I'm getting taken away by Ubisoft and Activision to the no politics and games jail. Oh no! Oh, 
I love control. I also really love that. I'm gonna go back to that thought that I was having about how cool it would actually be if the if the oldest house was, in fact, never a tree or never took any other form that it was as ash this is Director maybe Fee. half joked, half speculated that it was the same shape that it had always been. This no office building. Years, time in memoriam. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the inn. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels. To end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. So in this scenario, how small is humanity here, where we're just toy soldiers in what amounts to a proxy war between the board and the former? Marshal? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead, the walls are broken, but... Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. You voted it is made right. You fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this. You always believe in you. You want this to be true. I die towards the end of the fight. So Marshall combines elements of you. Oh, we didn't quite knock her down the chasm for a bunch of damage. Combines elements of a few different, um, a few different hiss types, including the sharpen, which we were introduced to in the foundation. There we go. Look at that chunk of the health bar get shaved off. Uh, the grenadier enemy type. I think she has her own sniper rifle on top of some of the ones that spawn in these alcoves. Oh, and something I should mention again, because this is not going to be in that last attempt, because I'm cutting that one out. Uh, I've seen some speculation that the tape that we listened to before might be reframing the former as uh, Ash Sr., or more likely Ash Jr., former head of research and not former member of the board like we thought or was member of the board after uh his tenure at the bureau maybe hmm that's interesting to think about We should also, I don't know if we might actually beat this fight before it can happen. Or if that up above is our reinforcements. But, mm, I'll wait a second. There's a ranger. The sight lines we're seeing, uh, our enemy snipers, I believe. And yeah, I think we are probably going to finish this fight before we get a chance to see the thing. The nail is corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. 
Uh, it's a small thing, but if you talk to Former earlier on in the Foundation instead of fighting him, he just gives you a couple of reinforcements during the fight. Helps you out a bit. We are cleansed. Hallelujah. The foundation is stable, beaten, slash a -OK. We hope you will improve your attitude slash loyalty. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm on to them. Not yet, anyway. So I think this comes down to asking, can Jesse change the system from within? Is reforming this deeply corrupted system possible? And if so, is it probable? Look at how the main game ends. After everything we go through, nothing actually changed. Dylan's still taken over, the hits are still corrupting the Bureau, they are emphatically not driven out. And even this, it, we didn't fix the problem. We stopped the problem from getting worse. It's the definition of a stopgap measure. And I think this game is also set... Oh, God! Uh, 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 uh. Is also set up a little bit uh, to... To show us that Jessie is maybe overestimating her ability to enact widespread change. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astro bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jessie. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her Bureau together? And that is it for the Foundation. That is not it for the Control Let's Play. Because we still have one more major story expansion coming, and it's the Alan Wake tie-in! The Alan Wake crossover DLC, AWE. I thought I know how to handle things, now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. I need to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are, I need to lead my way. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.